These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, Megan Thompson with your top stories on this Monday from ABC 15 Arizona. We do have a tragic update to share with you from the National Park Service this morning. The body of a Gilbert woman was found Sunday after she was taken by flood water at Sioux Creek Thursday. According to National Park officials, 33 year old Chinoa Nickerson was found roughly 20 miles from where she was last seen. Her body was recovered by park rangers and has been flown to the Coconino County Medical Examiner. America votes 2024. We are just 10 weeks until the election. After a successful convention, Vice President Kamala Harris is hoping to ride the wave of momentum for a few more weeks. But former President Donald Trump is trying to get that momentum back after an endorsement from RFK Jr., who suspended his own campaign. Scripps News political correspondent Stephanie Liebergen takes a look at what's ahead on the campaign schedule. For the next 10 weeks, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump will crisscross the country trying to make their case to voters. We are charting a new way forward, forward to a future with a strong and growing middle class because we know a strong middle class has always been critical to America's success. For Harris, it's a campaign that jump started just one month ago. For Trump, it's the final few weeks of a campaign that's been running for years. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. The first major event is their debate, set for September 10th in Philadelphia. Trump has been pushing for additional debates, and the Harris team is open to scheduling a second one in October, but nothing has been set yet. Also in September, Trump is scheduled to face his sentencing in the New York hush money case. In May, he was convicted on 34 counts of falsifying business records. His sentence, which is up to Judge Juan Marchand, could be anything from probation to four years in prison. The hearing is currently set for September 18th, but it could be delayed till after the election. And on October 1st, the vice presidential candidates, Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz, will face off in what will likely be their only debate. But by that time, voting will already be underway. Statewide early voting kicks off in a handful of states on September 20th, a little over three weeks from today. Stephanie Liebergen, Scripps News, Washington. Stephanie, thank you. Now happening today, the largest proposed grocery merger heads to court. This is a story ABC 15 has been tracking since October of 2022. Kroger is attempting to merge with Albertsons for $25 billion. However, the FTC is working to stop the acquisition, saying it would reduce competition and lead to higher grocery prices for consumers. Arizona's attorney general among those who do not support the merger. AG Chris Mays held listening sessions across Arizona to hear directly from shoppers. Kroger is now suing the FTC, saying it doesn't have the authority to stop the merger in the aftermath of a Supreme Court decision that significantly weakened the power of regulatory agencies. That hearing is expected to last until September 13th. Turning now to an Operation Safe Roads report, we're tracking some big changes that could be coming to several Tempe roads. Tonight, city leaders will hold the first of two public hearings to talk about reducing speeds on four Tempe roads, Mill Avenue, College Avenue, First Street and Southern Avenue. If everything goes according to plan, the changes would take effect 30 days after the second hearing on September 19th. Well, ABC 15 is kicking off our second chance bike drive benefiting St. Vincent de Paul. Now through September 30th, we're collecting new and used bicycles for both kids and adults. You can drop off bikes at any Earnhardt Auto Center location. You can also make a donation online by scanning the QR code on your screen or go to abc15.com slash bike. Time now for the most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. A very hot start to the week with temperatures flirting with that 110 mark, potentially hitting that 110 mark again here as we start the week. Now, Phoenix today looks to top out at 109, 106 out at Lake Havasu with that temperature in the low 90s in Sedona and in Payson, near 100 in Globe, and Flagstaff tops out at 80 degrees. Most spots will be dry today, which is a slight chance for storms in eastern and southeast Arizona this afternoon. For the Valley, we've had 52 days this year with highs at 110 or more. We could see another one added to that count this week, potentially tying that second place spot for the most days at 110 or more in a single year. Tomorrow forecasting a high of 110, but then some changes kick in as we get a boost in moisture. Those rain chances are back. It looks like our best potential for storms will come Tuesday night into Wednesday, and that's going to help drop temperatures to at least for a day. Midweek temperatures will be right near normal with a high of 105, and then we heat right back up. Highs near 110 through the weekend. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head on over to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app.
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.